Okay. Oh, he got it. Maybe he got excited. I don't know. He looks excited. He's excited. Oh, he's going for my fly. Yeah, go cool. on, go on. Little machine. Oh. I love the fish. Thank you. Oh, you're going to get a fish. Oh, but he's like. Yeah. He's got food oh, and he's shoot. walking. Oh, but then he's coming Oh, but now back. he's really mad. Oh. Nice. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. That was cool. Now, see, oh, once you start, all. yeah, once you start catching oh, one, oh. that's a big one. Okay. Once okay. you catch one, they get it active. Okay. Where's? Oh no. Oh, gotta get it. Take advantage, guys. I got fish. I you do. Oh, look at oh shoot, shoot! I'm not I'm like letting line go, and I'm not. Look even, at that pig. Look at that beauty. That actually is a big one. He's not just close. He's big. He's huge. Oh, maybe I'll get him. Maybe I'll get him. Maybe I'll get him. Okay, I'm, yeah. on, I'm down. Come on. Come on. Look at all the ones in the background. There's so many fish right now. This is my favorite TV show. Whoa. Nice. Oh, nice. That feels like a bigger one. I don't know if you. They're all like, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, that feels like a bigger fish. Oh, he's way over there. <laughs> yeah, see, once in a great while, we get one going for the bottom. Otherwise, a lot of fly hits. No, they're still fit. Look at one's way up on the Vexlar. It shows is that, that guy. Oh, yeah, they'll do that. Look at that. He's way. Oh, look at that fish. Oh, like, oh look at him going down to the. Look at him going down to the. Nice. Nice. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Ah! No! Where'd he go? Where is it? That's a big oh. one. Whoa, piggy. Whoa. Look at. Oh, he, so I caught one on the bottom, but otherwise I'm catching most of them on the fly. Wow. Yeah, you swing, you swing center. Oh, oh, look at how, he, look at that. Come on, come on, what if I got a double? Thanks, bro. Did he take it? Your creature power vest handy? <gasps> right here. Oh, there we go. Nice. Look at them all still down That's there. That's awesome. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez, jeez, big one, big one. Beauty, beauty. <laughs> Ooh, this is what I was waiting for. Oh, they're lining up like crazy. Hey, guys. We're watching Mario Kart. All right, show one of your fish friends. Oh, oh, look at him. Look at, look at, look at this. Oh, come on. He'll take it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, you were going for a double. I, was I see. Trying for how a double. You are. I know you're not capable, but can you see it? Or yeah. In my way? Pretty cool. Oh. 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 That's a nice it's a one. Good fish. Wow, that's a beauty. Do you want to catch any at some point? Hey guys, thank you for watching that video. I love seeing that underwater action there. And it's amazing. Lake George is filled with those wee beds loaded with perch up above it. And uh, what Melanie was doing yesterday really was effective. She managed to limit out. That was in the afternoon. That wasn't really a strong bite. Those fish were kind of in a lazy neutral mode and she still got her 50. I want to show you the tricks. Uh, this is one of the tricks that we use to catch fish consistently on Lake George. Uh, so the, the fish are living in those weed beds. Usually, just like you saw in that video, they're just cruising along a few inches, five, six inches above those weed beds. And the trick is to present something that they want to eat in that strike zone, which is usually within four inches above the weed bed to two feet above the weed bed. Uh, I drew a little diagram here to kind of show the life of what a fish is doing and where you want to catch them. One of the things, because that camera view was like face to face with the fish, one of the things we were not able to do was slowly lift the lure away from them. That's a really effective trick out there because you can see their eyeball to eyeball with it. If we slowly moved it away, it would pop out of the video camera and you wouldn't be able to see it anymore. But if you slowly lift it away, you kind of force them to make a decision. And uh, that often, they probably would have gotten about 30% more strikes. What we were using also really matters. Uh, that bottom rig was a glow perch chain jig. Uh, I sell these on Rogers Rigs. They come with an extra hook. One side is kind of a perch color. The other side glows in the dark. Uh, so we drop those down. I think that does kind of act as a call lure. When they're very aggressive and fast, you saw a few of them bite that. In the morning, if they're really in a hot bite, you'll catch most of them on that. 
that in the afternoon on a slower bite, they come in and investigate that and then slowly raise up and take that little nymph. We usually add a grub on the nymph and a perch eyeball on the chain jig. You'll also notice we weren't, Melanie wasn't like jigging up and down, up and down. I've seen that, you know, other people catch a fish, I'm not, I get frustrated and I jig up and down. That's not what a nymph does. The motion is tiny. Uh, that morning, even with a fast bite, what I was doing without any electronics was a simple bucket method. I would drop the lure down till it hit in the weeds and I'd reel up till when it sat at the bucket, it was basically five inches above the weeds. That jig, the, the perch chain jig was right about five inches above the weeds. And then, so that I could do that over and over again without dropping it in the weeds, I clip my line into the line clip. That is actually there so people that used to fish canals and stuff could clip their line in and they could cast across the canal and it would stop up their line, but it works really well. Now I catch a fish, I put the fish in the bucket, I drop it down, I don't have to think about the weeds, I don't have to think about getting weeds on my lure, I just drop it down until it hits that clip and I set it on the bucket. I actually get it out of my hands because I'm more likely to get that dead stick presentation and when a strike hits, I actually, it causes me to delay a little bit. You saw how they were biting. It wasn't like a crazy heavy bounce, bounce, bounce. It was usually something like this. Just a little bit of movement followed by a little bit bigger. And the best way is to actually delay, not hit it at the first movement, let that first movement go, and then strike on the second. I, I even kind of have a particular way of doing the hook set. I like to lift the rod up, set the hook in the fish's mouth, and then anchor that hand and real steady. If you try kind of start playing them, you end up loosening the hook in the fish's mouth. So I rink, yank up real steady, bring them in. So this, uh, this perch finesse rig, which is floral carbon line with a swivel up above, because eventually that many fish will end up spinning up your line. Swivel up above, floral carbon line, which is the same density as water. It kind of disappears in the water. A one inch, uh, little tag line with that nymph on it which allows it so when they flail the gills and suck it in there's a little bit of mov movement to get the uh, the hook into the fish's mouth and the glow perch chain jig all those are available at rogersrigs.com my wife my friends and i actually hand tie these rigs it's quality components quality knots uh, and we supply these jigs we have a few tungsten jigs there's only about a dozen items there. These spring bobbers are on that website. It's the items that we use to catch fish, and I wouldn't try to sell you anything that we wouldn't use uh, to have a good day on the ice. I hope this is helpful. Please like and subscribe. Check out some of the other videos. I show how to use some of the other lures and even how to cut up the fish. Thanks for your time.